morning everyone so there's a couple of ways of uh, getting incorporated um, and depending on the uh, difficulty of your corporation or the makeup of it how many shareholders and stuff there are will depend on whether or not you can do it uh, the cheap and easy way or whether you can do it the long and a lot more expensive way okay so the cheap and easy way is going down to the license center and starting your corporation um, cost about 500 bucks and you should buy the uh, legalese deluxe edition kit which will have all your um, incorporation papers uh, bylaws and such like that and instructions on how to fill all that stuff out uh, before you do your shares and all that good stuff make sure you talk to somebody that knows what they're talking about it doesn't have to be a lawyer uh, it can be your accountant from a tax perspective they will be able to understand uh, what will be the best structure for you and if you have a complicated situation please 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 use a lawyer it is well worth the money, uh, meaning that you have more than uh, one family unit that owns shares. So if you and another family are owning shares, it is advisable for you to uh, get a lawyer and get incorporated that way so you can protect yourself and your fellow shareholders. Now what I wanna to talk to you about on this video is your business number. So now in Alberta, when you incorporate, and this didn't always happen, when you incorporate, you're going to get a business number automatically from the CRA, okay? Uh, this did not happen automatically before you'd have to apply for one, but that business number is not a GST number. It's the same nine digits, but it's not a GST number. A GST number ends in RT0001. Same with the payroll number, ends in RP0001, okay? If you're a small company. You do not have those accounts set up, okay? So if you start charging GST, you are not going to be able to claim your GST uh, because you technically do not have a GST number and the CRA will not take that business number as a GST number. So it's important for you to contact the CRA to get a business number uh, or you can contact an accountant and they can do it online for you. I strongly suggest that you don't do it by yourself because many, many errors will occur and things that you don't know um, uh, will hurt you in the end, okay? So I hope that helps. Uh, take care of yourself. Take care of your family, take care of your friends, and be well.